I swear, if I ever see one of you guys wearing one of these things, who am I kidding? I don't care. You can wear whatever you want. But I decided it would be fun to compile a list of things that I personally think men should just not be wearing. But again, that's in my opinion. You guys can wear whatever you want. Hopefully I don't get too much hate in the comment section, which I know I probably will. Number one is worn out shoes. Now, there's really not much to say here, but there's a lot of guys that wear the same shoes and not out of necessity, but more so out of just laziness. Reality is you can get nice shoes for even $10. In my back to school video, I showed you where I went to go buy $10 shoes at H&M that looked amazing. So it's not so much price the problem, it's more so not taking care of your shoes, letting that accumulate to the point that your shoes start wearing out and ruining your overall outfit. Number two is wearing a t-shirt where your sleeves are just too loose. I've told you before how a t-shirt should properly fit. And I've seen this trend a lot in long line tees. Now long line tees aren't bad in and of itself, but there's certain styles where it's just overly baggy to the point that it just makes you look scrawny which is the exact reason why you shouldn't be wearing it number three this is just outdated and i hope nobody's still wearing this and it's boot cut or classic cut jeans both of these styles just end up swallowing whatever footwear you're wearing and makes your overall aesthetic just look kind of off either opt for straight slim and if you want and if you want a little bit more room on the bottom there's even zipper jeans that are trending and would look 10 times more stylish number four a wrinkled suit. A suit is like your coat of armor. If it's wrinkled, it's like having a hole in it. You're vulnerable. You want your suit to be sharp. You want it to flow right. You want it to drape. If it has hard creases, take it to the cleaners, get it pressed, and trust me, it's going to be the best 20 bucks you ever spent. Number five is an empty wrist. You got to wear something on these guys, and if you're not a big into jewelry, you must at least wear a watch. It's crazy how many subscribers I end up meeting in the malls or when I'm walking out and about, and every time I see you guys, it's amazing how you guys are all looking stylish and to the T. You're always wearing watches and guys are always coming up to me like, Hey, Jose, yo, check my watch or check my shoes. And it's always cool seeing you guys. You're implementing the tips and how it's just boosting your confidence and building your style overall. Now, a great recommendation for a watch is from our sponsor, Vincero Watches. If you guys have never checked out Vincero, I highly suggest you guys check them out. These are some of the nicest watches you're going to find at this price point. I'm gonna have a link below also with a special discount code just for you guys because you're a viewer where you guys can go and check out their range. Look at them super close. These watches are so well built for their price point that when you wear them, I mean, just look at this timepiece. It looks like you're wearing a $500 to $1,000 timepiece, yet this thing is like a tenth of the price, which makes Vincero one of the best investment pieces for you guys, especially if you're building a collection and trying to develop your style. If you want a piece that is just classy, looks money, but it's still affordable and can fit your budget, Vincero is the brand for you and I definitely suggest you guys check them out and check out their whole range. Everything from their chronograph, which are my personal favorite. I love the complications in the dial and I love the overall dial design, but they also have more minimal and simple watches you can use daily. Again, regardless of which model you choose, you can be rest assured this is a timepiece that you're going to have for years in your collection. If you guys want to check out Vincera, make sure your wrist game is always on point. There's going to be a link and discount code down below. The sixth thing that no man should ever be wearing is a sweater or hoodie that has those lint balls starting to form. Now this is a phenomenon that starts happening to a lot of sweaters, especially once you start using them a lot and washing them frequently, and it's a clear sign that they're just worn out and dated. First, I would recommend your sweaters should always be dry clean. This is a big step that's gonna avoid those lint balls to ever form, and second, if they are formed, you can use a razor. Using a razor, you can easily just shave off those lint balls and, and basically rejuvenate that sweater or hoodie and make it usable again. Number seven, ugh flip-flops not so much sandals flip-flops those rubbery cheap things that most guys wear out in public i know it's cringy nobody wants to look at your feet let alone look at your feet on those 99 cent rubber flip-flops number eight cargo shorts well i think the last time i wore cargo shorts i was like in kindergarten that should tell you something. Cargo shorts are probably the least stylish short option you will ever choose or ever decide to wear. However, reality is that if you find yourself a pair of cargo shorts with slim pockets, chances are it looks good. The problem is either when you buy cargo shorts with baggy pockets that just gives you these weird humps, or you decide to use those pockets and actually end up stuffing it with your everyday care. Number nine are transitional lenses. So I still remember when I saw these came out, back in the 2000s. Now the concept of transitional lenses in general aren't bad. 
it's the designs. They look like they came out of the Terminator movie. Really, these things don't suit any type of face shape and throw you back to the Backstreet Boys era. Nowadays with so many companies like Sunglasses USA or Warby Parker, you can buy frames at like 50 bucks that are 10 times more stylish, super affordable, and will actually suit your face shape. And finally, number 10 is wearing too much fragrance. That's the last thing no guy should ever wear. It doesn't matter if you're wearing the most expensive, best smelling fragrance every woman loves. If you pour half the bottle on yourself, instantly makes that fragrance tacky. It'll give a headache to anybody around you and turn most women off instead of turning them off. And that's basically it guys. Those are 10 things no man should ever wear. Let me know what you think down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Vincera. I'm going to have them linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.